In our next hour, the British are coming back. We'll tell you about the return of some old-time rock and roll. The CBS Morning News continues with Faith Daniels and Charlie Rose. Welcome back. No, we are not going back to the 1960s, but it may seem that way. All because of the British invasion. Three British rock groups that were big, real big, a generation ago are visiting the United States. In a few minutes, we'll see what's ahead and behind us. It's beginning to sound like the 60s all over again. You might call it the second British invasion. Some of the English bands who followed the Beatles to the States in the 60s are coming back. And starting tomorrow, they'll be touring 35 cities together, turning the clock back and singing some of the songs you may know from 20 years ago. Songs like these. Everybody tells me so. You were made for me. Don't be tempted to go now. Came my way. I knew I was safe. Close by your side to keep you satisfied. It's gonna be alright, alright, alright. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be you first so that we can get your wild reaction to that. Joining us now, Jerry Marsden of Jerry and the Pacemakers, Freddie Garrity of Freddie and the Dreamers, and John McNally of The Searching. Welcome. You guys seemed shocked and embarrassed at the same time when you saw that. Had you forgotten how you looked? Sure. It's very strange actually looking at them. Uh, you, you, you don't actually forget how you look, but you forget how you actually moved or didn't move. It was really... Uh, I mean, you could have paid a tune on my ribs then. <laughs> Still can, though. If I could play drums on your chest. <laughs> Has it been a while since you actually saw footage of, of yourself yes. back in the 60s? Sure. Yes, sure. Uh, especially the, uh, the ones we saw then I hadn't seen for many years. Especially at Freddy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was your biggest Freddy. kick, was pointing at the other one until your turn That's came right, up. Yeah. I realize what we've got to do at the Felt Forum on Friday now, get them legs up. <laughs> does that seem like yesterday to you, or does it seem like years it seems ago? seems like a lifetime to me. Does it it really? seems like my young son playing again. Amazing, really. I mean, when you look at it, you think, my goodness, was I like that? Can't they believe were special it. days, though, weren't they? Yeah. Can you recapture the moment in this sort of a tour? Yes, yes. I think so. The audience will do that for us. The audience will capture the nostalgia and their memories, and they'll capture for us. We don't have to do very much. We play the songs, and they'll enjoy them. And we'll educate the children to 60s music as well. They've never heard this before. That's true. I mean, the point is that in those days, uh, you say it doesn't seem a long time ago. It doesn't seem that long because we've never stopped playing so radio, and it doesn't seem that long playing the music again. It may seem that long to people when they come to concerts and say, wow, I remember that song because I met my first girlfriend. And all we do is take them back for two and a half hours to the youth and the, to the fun they had as kids. Bring us all up to date on the last 20 years and what you've been doing, very quickly. Sure, touring. Uh, touring uh, Australia, the Canada, Spain, everybody. Everywhere. Touring around the world, oh, yeah. everybody. Mm -hmm. Never stopped Never working. Stopped. Get played 60s music all the way through. I'm so surprised it's taken so long to come back to America. And there really seems to be such a resurgence now. Why do you think that it's hot again? I think uh, good songs, uh, yes. Very good songs, great era. I mean, uh, simple music. I mean, <laughs> exactly, simple music, simple yeah. people. Simple people? <laughs> yes, exactly. Freddy's simple always people who wear silly hats like the British oh, Invasion. Oh, in fact, quick. you can have one of these. Oh, actually. why, thank you. That's for you, thank thank you. you. Keep it forever. I shall. So we say the oh, form on Friday. The studio, looks, <laughs> looks lovely. No, so it's nice to be back in the States. I mean, it, we haven't worked together the bands for 20 odd years. Yeah, since last week. And it's, <laughs> and it's nice to all get together again and uh, tour again. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. 33 cities, 35, 33. <coughs> we're going across to Boston, with the Felt Forum opening on New Friday. Haven. New Haven. So, you know, it's... Canada, we're doing Canada. Finishing, finishing, yeah. finishing LA, don't we? Do you, do you know, the, the Beatles really opened the floodgates sure. for you in oh, the 60s. Oh, yes. Do you think you ever could have done it without them? I don't know. It, I, no. I think it would have taken a lot longer. Um, I mean, it would have taken the Beatles a lot longer, except for Brian Epstein, who brought the boys up, actually. But without the Beatles, it might have taken us a bit longer to get to the States. I think we would have got there. I disagree. Yes, I, I, I think I, we would I have, have got, got there, the but not without the talent the of Lennon McCartney. Helped us, uh, Lennon McCartney wrote brilliant songs. Sure. And people sort of stood up and noticed that these two young lads were writing these great songs. And suddenly, they hits all over the world, go to Liverpool, sign all these bands up, and they open the door for everybody. Can I just make another sure. point? There's not just ourselves on this particular tour. There's also the Mindbenders and Chad and Jeremy. So there's two other groups, you know, groups who were very popular. Oh, yes. Yes. You know, your time in the spotlight, your time collectively in the mm. spotlight, seemed to be so short.
What do you think it died out so Generations. Quickly? Generations yeah. change very easily. The whole music changes, and 80s is different. Each generation has their music. Yeah. And it changes very quick. People forget. I mean, it's so abstract, you just throw it away, don't you? See, that's, that's the, the nice thing about the music, uh, like coming back 25 years to play the same music, <clears throat> that the music has stayed around for that length of time, which is nice. The record sales sort of went down after a certain period, but the music stayed around, and that's the nice thing about it's it. It's like that's Chuck bonus. Berry, Little Richard, they're all sure. still working. And that's the 50s. That's right. Yeah, that's true. We're going to educate them. They're even ones. older than us. <laughs> and older than us, yes. <laughs> when, when you go back out there, everyone certainly has their favourite song when they listen to you. But do you have a particular favourite? Of our yes. own. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mine is uh, Ferry Cross the Mersey and Don't Let the Sun Catch You Crying. They're my two favourites. Mine's I Like It and How Do You Do What You Do To Me. <laughs> <laughs> no, mine's I'm Telling You Now. <clears throat> I think that's probably everyone's favourite from Freddie and the Dreamers. Well, that's right. Yes. We did do the Freddie with that particular yeah. song. And what about you, John? Uh, Needles and Pins, Walk in the Room, Sweets for My Sweet, Love Potion number nine, which is number two over here in 64. What happens at the end of the 35 City Tour? We go home. We go, back, go to bed. Go back collapse. to work. <laughs> in fact, no, we are. Uh, the searchers have two days off, in fact, when we tour Britain. You may be hotter than hot by then, and we certainly well, hope you are. We hope so. Well, we can do what the monkeys have done. <laughs> we have Entertain to run now. People. Thanks so much Thank for you. the Thank hat. I appreciate you. it. Thank you for having us on Thank the show. Thank you very Bye -bye. much for having us. It's 19 before the hour.